everybody. It's, it is five o'clock. It's Tuesday, October 29th, 2024. And, uh, it's been right around six months. Uh, six, almost seven months. Uh, working with Trey, delivering uh, freight, and uh, kind of just wanted to do a little bit of an update on it. Um, actually headed home from the gym right now it's a little bit uh, early today like I said it's it's just now five o'clock and we're literally headed home from the gym so normally we're headed home about I don't know 5 45 about 45 minutes early but trying to do this and drive at the same time but uh, just wanted to do an update on how it's been going but I reset the trip on this truck I'll show you maybe when I get to the house reset the trip on this truck when we got it and uh, I put 11,076 miles on this truck so but I haven't been driving this truck for for six months either I don't know how long I've been driving this truck you all can probably tell from the from the video when we, when we made the video about it but um, started working with Trey and then uh, he showed me I rode with him I think two or three weeks uh, in this truck with him, he's kind of showed me how to do it. Sorry, I don't have a phone mount in this truck, but um, kind of showed me how to do it and, and uh, all of that. And then I think I did it like two two weeks, maybe by myself. So basically, I did it for like a month, and then I got hurt in that race, you know, where I about died and all that. Um, that was the weekend that we got this truck ready to go. So I've probably been that saturday you know like i said in that video we worked basically all day long on getting this truck ready to go for that week that was the first week that this thing was going to be i was going to be driving it and uh, that sunday or sorry that saturday night um you know when we, we went to texas roadhouse and that's when i started passing out and stuff and they took me to the hospital and found the blood in my my chest wall and out you know you guys know seen that video but uh and then I think I was off for like two weeks. It was off two weeks, two or three weeks. I think it was two weeks. So I've probably been in this truck for, man, um, I don't know, probably right at six months, five, five months, six months or whatever. So did about 11,000 miles. But initial thoughts on it are, it is definitely a change because and this stuff, you know, it's like you go and go and go. It's almost addicting. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, you know, she'll say, you know, I got another stop or I got another pickup or, you know, whatever. And it's really hard to say no because it's like literally, you know, all you do is go to a, a business and um, you pick up. You know, sometimes it's one skid. Sometimes it's, you know, three or four skids. Sometimes it's 12 skids. You know, it just depends on the stop, the day, how much stuff I already have in the truck or how much, you know, it all depends, but literally you're just moving skids from one building to another building, you know, we're not going, I'm not going to the final destination of all this freight and you know, we're staying local. Um, I'm staying really local. I, I stay in the, in, in Kentucky most times, most days. And, uh, you know, I'm only, gosh, at max maybe 20 20 miles 25 miles away from the house so it's uh it's very cool you know my old job i did commercial heating and air for quite a long time you know like 15 years and uh, uh and quit back in 2021 and you know we did the uh you know we had attempted to do social media full time and we technically still would be doing social media full-time if a, you know, a certain family member didn't screw our brains out, but that's on another subject. But, uh, it's, I, I'm very grateful that, <laughs> that, that this came about because if this job wouldn't have come about in this day and age with trying to film, you know, social media and have a normal job, you know, businesses can say what you can and what you can't put out there and, um, and you know, it, the, the, the cold war truth is, 
you know, possibly six months ago, we would have been completely done with social media because I would have had to go back to back into eating and air, which is completely fine, you know, to support the family. But, uh, but I, you know, I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to stop social media because I'm, you know, we're really focusing hard on the Bell Life Banks YouTube channel. And if you're not already, uh, if you can go over and subscribe to that, the link will be down below, but it's the Bell Life Banks. You know, we're trying really hard to grow that channel and build it. And I'm just glad that, that, uh, that this came about and they wanted a straight truck, you know, so, so me and Trey can both work and do this. It's really, you know, it's really great. And, you know, we're a hundred percent, you know, um, me and Trey work five days a week and, uh, we work from about, uh, we leave the house at about 7:45 in the morning and, uh, we're normally at the gym by about 3.30 every day and uh, and home by about 6 at night is when it's, so we're gone for about, I don't know, 11 hours a day or something, but um, it's, I mean, I, I actually, actually enjoy it. The, the, it's just, it's weird differences, you know, like during the day at my old job, there was a lot of times where it was, there was a lot of downtime, so you can hang out, and, you know, watch your phone and really not do a whole lot of anything and this job it's like it's not hard um but you're going all day if you're not going you know normally that's not good so i'm gonna finally stop so um it's just really different and hard to get used to and uh finally you know it's it's weird you know we come home and uh uh try to you know hang out with amy and the baby and and lexi and um you know normally i get out of the shower at 6 40 and you know, about 6.40 at night, and we eat, and by like 8.30, 9 o'clock, I'm falling asleep in the chair. It's like, this is ridiculous. I feel like, a, I guess I am old. I'm 35, but, um, or, you know, it feels like I'm old. I know that, because I'm falling asleep in the chair. It's just, it's just adjusting to this, you know, constantly moving all day long. You know, my old job wasn't like that, but, so I, I actually like that, because uh, according to my watch, you know, it says, we do, we do a half an hour of cardio every day at the gym. So I walk uh, about two miles in the gym. But according to my watch, I uh, uh, I do 14,000, 14 to 15,000 steps a day, which I don't know if that's a lot or not, but it seems like a lot. And it's just, uh, it wears you out. But I really, it's, it's, it's weird for me, you know, like even mowing the grass, you know, I, I don't know what it is. I don't particularly like mowing the grass, like when I'm doing it, but I like like the, you know, instant, you know, when you're done, it looks nice and, you know, I don't know how to explain it. And it's like with this, with this job, you're, you're uh, accomplishing something like every five minutes, it seems like, you know, you delivered this or you, you pick this up or you deliver, you know, drop this back off at the station. And it's, um, it's just, it's fun because, you know, the more you work, the more you make. And in this day and age, uh, especially right now, hopefully, you know, sometime next week, maybe prices will start to go down just a little bit, but we'll have to see on that. That's a diff whole different subject, but, you know, you, you, you gotta, uh, everything's so expensive, you know, it's like we spend so much money on, I mean, you know, it's cra It's like me and Amy and the baby and Lexi, we spend like $300 a week in groceries. It's like, this is insane, but, but I just enjoy the part where, you know, the more you work, the more you work, the more you make, you know, before I was out hourly. So it's kind of the same thing, but you know, it's different amounts you can make doing this, you know, with that you're making X amount of dollars, you know, this many hours, but, um, I'm trying to think what else, uh, I mean, really that's about, that's about it. That's all we, you know, all we do now is work five days a week work out five days a week um we're back to filming on sundays and uh we film for the bell Life bangs and that's about it um you know saturday is pretty much our only day off which we did that for from 2016 till 2021 so that's not anything new and uh, other than that that's about really about it you know we but Trey's been doing this stuff since like 95. So 
he's been doing it a lot longer, so he knows a lot of tricks that, you know, I'm still trying to learn, and obviously it's going to take a long time for that, but, you know, we'll both leave the state, you know, we both leave basically about the same time in the morning. This truck stays behind his garage, and uh, in the wintertime, I'm going to try to, you know, I think we'll do a video on it. I'm going to try to, because this is a diesel, I'm going to try to plug it in behind uh, my house. I need to get some gravel and stuff, and and fix that spot to where I can park this thing. And then that way, when it's freezing, you know, I can just walk out of the garage and walk right to the truck and start the truck up, but still gotta fix that. But me and Trey leave about the same time in the morning. And and he, he'll do just as many stops and pickups as me, and he'll be back to the station normally before I get there. And I'm in Kentucky, which is where the station's at, and he's up in Ohio, he's like, He's like 45 minutes, 50 minutes north away every day. You know, he's in Ohio and I'm in Kentucky. And it's like he still beats me. It's just, you know, from experience, from doing it so long. And hopefully I'll get there one day. I did pretty good today. I had uh, see here, 12 stops, you know, between stops and pickups, I had 12. And I had uh, wait time twice. So that means I had an hour of sitting. And uh, I was still back to the station by I think 2 30 and I also not only had the wait time or two wait times for an hour I also went to the station uh, four times today so I went there this morning loaded up and took and delivered that freight picked some stuff up came back dropped that off because I had another pickup that had uh, like seven skids on it, so I did, couldn't have a full truck or even a half a truck. I can hold uh, 12 40 by 48 skids. So I went back out and got those seven, and then um, the next pickup, oh, and then I went to one more that had one skid at one pickup, and then I brought that back and dropped it off and uh, went back out and got seven more skids and came back to the station and dropped that off. So today was it's different every day it's crazy you know it's like it's it's kind of the same but different it's really hard to explain you guys are watching that deliver or whatever you know you know what I'm talking about it's I couldn't imagine it's just talking to Trey it's like Amazon drivers and FedEx drivers and UPS drivers and you know they're uh, watch this guy on TikTok he's UPS driver he's got like 300 stops a day it's like how in the crap you know I've done like I think 19 in one day, but that's just like if you have like one skid per stop. And you know, that's with going back to the station and and dumping and then going back out and picking more up. You know, that's perfect scenario for that to happen, making a turn here. And um there we go, I got it. It's tight right here. Uh, you know, that's perfect scenario for that to happen. So that doesn't happen a lot, but I normally average about uh, today was slow you know like i said with 12 but normally between 13 and 17 a day stops and pickups and i got indigestion i have no idea why i get this like once every three or four months and it drives me it, i'll get the freaking hiccups and i'll have the hiccups for like um man passed a dually on our road that was a little tight dually pickup truck I had them yesterday for six and a half hours, nonstop. Tried water, tried holding your bread, tried getting scared, tried eating bread, standing upside down on my head. You know, I tried all the little tri tips and tricks and none of it seems to work. But I'm pulling it in the house now. Oh, got it. And uh, um, it's just, you know, none of it seems to work. And and uh, anyways, it's just, it goes in motions. You know, now I'm, I'm I'm okay. I haven't had hiccups today, but, uh, you know, Trey's, there's Trey peeing. I don't know if you can see him. He's peeing right there. Makes sure he just got home. But, um, I, I, I actually really, I mean, really enjoy it. It's, it's so easy and it's, and you, you know, you make really, uh, really good money and it's like, it's, uh, it's a pretty it's a really nice gig for sure but it's kind of funny so i was telling trey you know these trucks obviously the the less expenses you have 
the more money you make, right? Well, when you pull up to some of these, you know, you deliver to some residential houses, and these uh, some of these people, I guess, must think you're like really poor, you know, because the trucks don't, you know, some they they just, you know, like this truck's got 170 or 80 thousand miles on it. And Trey's truck's got like, uh, I don't know, his truck's got one of them's got 200 and I, they don't this all got more you know higher miles on it and uh they all run fine they just don't look like brand new trucks so you go to these some of these residential stops and they think you're um you know i i mean i, I guess they think you're on like welfare or something you know like extremely poor i don't mean anything bad by welfare but you know what i mean it's just a like an image thing or whatever but that's kind of weird but um you know some of the people you deliver to you know they live in you know like freaking million dollar houses and you know whatever seven eight hundred thousand dollar houses that that um they just they're kind of snobby acting you know and I've, I've never been you know that way at all i don't understand people that are that are like that i mean you could literally be in a 1991 honda civic with five hundred thousand miles on it and i would look at you the same as if you were driving a bmw around because the the person in the 1991 honda civics probably richer than the person that's in the bmw you know it doesn't mean anything what you wear or what you drive or where you live or any of that bull crap so people that do that if you do that you're a hunk of crap put people down for that but as everybody's riding around the backyard right now i'm doing a i'm doing a six month update for the video for you six months update of what working for you wow yeah so i gotta tell them that too i'll tell them about the truck in a seven i ain't got that far but um so like i said a little over 11 11 100 miles that's what you're posting tonight yeah because the, i didn't do the the race will take too long to edit i forgot to airdrop oh, okay. yeah. so but let me turn this let me stop this and turn this around real quick all right there it is i flipped around to the other camera so there she is still going and there's the other three so I don't know we might make a whole separate video on that probably should shouldn't we about what's going on with it probably save that shouldn't i yeah we'll save that yeah so there's a little something going on with the truck as we don't think it's a huge deal yet but we don't know but if y'all we're gonna make the video anyways but i was gonna say if you want to leave if you guys want to see that then oh, yeah you got an old bell i put you on but uh there's a little something going on with it it's actually got one of our uh, buddies to come over and look at it uh this thursday not look at it i think he's gonna start working on it isn't he said thursday night maybe friday maybe friday or whatever but it's a pretty supposedly common issue with this dt 466 international so hopefully it's not a huge deal but it's still you obviously still working with it so it's not that big a deal but literally other than that i think i think this blinker came loose and that's about it. Nothing's happened to it in 11,000 miles, knock on wood. But still really enjoy doing it. It's just I don't know um, how everything else is going to go next week. So you all let us know on that. But all of his trucks completely running, completely fine. And that truck's running completely fine. It ain't running completely fine. I know. I was going to leave him in suspense. If they want to see it or not, y'all let us know. But just wanted to come on and give an update. Some people were asking in the last comments if we were still doing it and all that kind of stuff. And it, yeah, nothing's. Yeah, well, obviously we're still doing it. So they were commenting asking if we were still doing this stuff. What do they think we're doing? I don't know. I guess adult films. I don't know what they think we're doing. So that's the uh, that's the update. Still doing it five days a week, and it's uh going well uh, uh, like, like 21 minutes so far i was talking all the way home driving all the time yeah That's well it's non-cdl you know what i mean so but non-cdl what the hell is that matter? i don't think it matters but anyways that's the update and uh we're honestly going to keep doing it but thursday i'll probably well thanks not thanksgiving halloween's thursday so probably we'll probably do a whole nother video on what's going on with the truck like i said it's nothing major we don't think but who knows right we hope not yeah
That's what but, you get when you get in this business. You never know what you get. Yeah, I said that earlier. But uh, but yeah, that's the. I've said it a million, million times to you all. I'm trying to get out of here. This wind is everywhere, and I got my headphones in. I don't know if this thing is taking this audio or taking audio from the phone. So hopefully it's not that bad. But like I said, a little over six months, and it's going well, and uh. Obviously, hopefully we can continue to do this because we need to continue to do this so we can keep doing the bangs channel. So um, appreciate you all and uh, leave a like on the on the video if you want us to. I mean, we're going to film that video and what's going on with it. But maybe leave a comment down below and you all take a guess what you think's going on. I'll give you a little bit of a hint. It is it is fuel related. So fuel related is what it is. What's going on with the truck? You might be able to find out what's going on if you Google, you know, how common it is or whatever, but um, we're hoping that's the problem. So it's using a lot of fuel now. Normally when I work in Kentucky, that truck can make it like four and a half days, almost five days worth working. And uh, now it's going like every two and a half days. It's I need to fill it up and that thing holds 50 gallons of diesel. So it's normally about... 200 to 250 a week in fuel um because you know that last fill up makes it into the next week you know what i mean so um but uh i don't know you might be able to figure out what's going on with it but like i said i'm still driving it and here's another here's another hint it has about three quarter maybe a little bit less horsepower than it has when it's running good so but that's it. Be back in a second. All right. Sorry about that. I, uh, a buddy pulled it in the driveway and, um, his, uh, uh, heat's acting up at his house. So I was bullcrapping with him about it. So we got to go try to take a look at that. It's going to be warmer all this week. So I think we're going to do it, uh, Saturday. We're going to try to look at it this Saturday or whatever, see what's going on with it. But anyways, um, that's where we're at. That's the update. I should keep looking over there. I'm using my phone. I need to look right here. That's where the camera's at. But, um, liking it for sure. And, um, uh, just grateful to have a job to make money. So appreciate you all. And, um, subscribe here and subscribe to, uh, the Bell Life Bangs. If you haven't seen that channel yet, sure you all should, uh, get a kick out of that and maybe a little bit of familiar familiarity how do you say that between um that channel and our original channel so and then if you guys want um merchandise we still have some in stock you can get that on the belllife.com all the links will be down below and we seriously do appreciate each and every one of you that watch these videos and comment and support us it really does mean a lot so see y'all in the next one and uh i guess we'll uh and we're not going to have that video out, but um, happy early Halloween, right? See ya.